Arthur Gonzalez. This is Sherry. Oh, Sherry. Shit. She is loaded with um, some Phil X pickups. <laughs> Um, you don't know me yet. Uh, some of you might. I don't care if you do, or if you don't. I'm going to tell you more about myself in another video. But right now, we're going to, uh, going to have a little uh, chat with Phil X, going to let him talk about um, his tribute guitar, his tribute Gibson SG, to uh, the late, great, amazing Eddie Van Halen. Hey man, it's Phil X! Okay, so uh, basically, it kind of came down to this. When uh, Ed passed away, sadly, in 2020, I thought, I need a guitar that's a tribute to the king, that isn't you know, walking into a guitar store and buying an EVH Frankenstrat, which would have been my favorite. So I didn't just want to have one of those. And my favorite guitar is the SG, the way it plays, the way it feels, the weight, everything about it. So I had Gibson, who I can't believe they did this, but Gibson literally, I, I requ requested a blank SG. So that means no routes anywhere, not on the back, Look, reflectors, baby. Not in the back for the controls, not two humbuckers. Uh, just a blank SG. And it was a 64 Custom Shop, which is the neck that I really like. So anyways, they sent it to my two buddies, Scott Bodden and John Burgess, in uh, London, Ontario, of all places. And they got started. And um, John dug in with the, the routing. And you can see... Uh, these pickups are closer together, uh, closer together than they are on on the Frankenstrat because this is a different scale length. Since like a Floyd, if this was a Frankenstrat, the Floyd would be more further back here, and the the pickups would be spread out more. So we had to compensate the, the scale length, and you'll see there's already been a mod, so it's already a Frankenstrat. I mean, you can see there's already a mod, uh, so it's already a Frankenstein. It, I had it with the. Uh, the maestro trim and I thought you know uh, I'm not crazy about how that's uh, working uh, it didn't tonally I don't think it worked with the body routes or if there was something up because my other maestros on my other G's sound awesome and this wasn't working so I had a friend Spencer Deaton in Dallas put a fucking uh, wrap around today and came in, plugged it in, and it's spectacular. So I'm so excited right now because everything just came together. So Scott Bodden got so into the the details. Look, there's blue. Like that one time that uh, Eddie leaned it, his Frankenstrat on a bench backstage somewhere that had just been painted this blue, and it got blue paint on on the, here and on this reflector. Uh, this reflector that's that kind of broken is just a little adhesive there. Um, the only thing missing back here is the the cavity for the the Floyd and Springs. So um, this is an Arcane PX8 P PX Super 8 because that's my my pickup that gets the closest to Eddie in my ear. Uh, it's an Alnico 8, pretty high wound um, pickup humbucker. Uh, obviously a bunk pickup like Eddie's and Eddie put that slider five-way switch for, from a fender with the wires in there and uh, the 71 quarter like what a, what a, look at that look at the detail it's insane these guys and uh, obviously take it to another level for a Gibson we have the fender strat output jack and the, the pick guard chopped up like Eddie did with one volume fender volume tone knob sorry tone knob for the volume so and then we put one of these back here I put SG's traditionally come with a peg here for the the strap I put it here so I could you know whip it around my neck like a maniac and uh, there you have it uh, it's a Franken G 
some today I called it an edgy. <laughs> the, the whole magic here is going up the SG neck with the trapeze inlays and seeing Gibson on the headstock. For me, some of my favorite Eddie photos are him with the Les Paul. I have a couple with Les Paul Juniors too. But every time I saw Ed with the Les Paul, I'm like, damn man, back in the day, before tapping, before, before the whammy bar, he was blazing on Les Pauls. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? That's good. All right. Whoa! Yeah, yeah! Be naive. There's always something up their sleeve. A twisted reason they commit this treason. A friendship vow from now to the end of time. Can't be naive. Better let it be or leave. They pump you up to take command. Hoping the chaos will force your hand. Undetected. Disrespected. Misdirected. And waste my time. There's always something up their sleeve Of the hand that leads with flattery Put them away for assault and battery Can't be naive Not easy to believe Stealing, never healing 100% lost and at what cost Undetected Disrespected Misdirected And it tastes like shit Always hanging around Slithery states open Down, 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 down Listen to me Think before you buy that shit And then toast it with a drink Scummy and deceitful Don't enable another sequel Don't deny, stop the lie Make up shit, be gon' fly Swanna, why'd I even bother? It was never real, just like you Just pretend Good night, Dallas. Love you guys. I'm Kurt Dimer. I appreciate you being here.